Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while. Today I'll be going over some new features of Filmora and why I use this software to edit my wedding videos. Okay, let's get started. So, as you can see, uh, this is Filmora 11. Not <laughs> too different from 10, I'll admit, but it does come with some new helpful features. Here's just a quick overview. Uh, curve speed. Uh, some more masking features. Uh, others like the auto montage maker in instant mode. We'll get into those maybe in another video. Um, some cloud backup and um, this stock media. Pretty neat, huh? Uh, they added some other small features here and there, but maybe we'll get to them in another video. For now, I'll show you why this editor is great for making my wedding videos. To start, let's look at um, some of the various titles Filmora has to offer. Go ahead and just type wedding um, in the search bar in the titles tab. Once it loads here, let's see. Wedding. Um, tons and tons of wedding titles should pop up. Uh, each one possesses their own unique animation and text, all of which can be normally customizable in their own way. Um, let's put one to the test, shall we? First, I'm going to import some wedding footage I took of some of the past weddings. There we go, we got some nice slow footage here. Um, this is kind of just use this as a establishing shot from the b-roll I have um, then we're gonna go ahead and go back to the titles um, wedding now we'll just grab one of these random titles here and see how it looks um, yeah this one why not Uh, see, that looks nice. Um, you could even change some of the text. Uh, let's see, we'll go to the advanced tab. Got it. Mary, ampersand, and Alex. Uh, but yeah. We'll just leave it as is. I'm gonna go ahead and add a fade transition to the beginning. That looks decent enough. So another cool thing Filmora offers is it's easy to use um, color grading tools. This can help fix your footage and add some creativity to, you know, make your final video looking more colorful, realistic, you could say. Or you could even go crazy and just make your own creative like preset lots. Anyways, let's take a look at this wedding footage I took of a bride and her baby. This footage from a past wedding I've done. Um, notice how the colors just seem a little, you know, washed out. Um, go ahead and cut the beginning. Let's uh, let's go ahead and fix that by opening up the advanced color correction panel, and then we head on over here to adjust. Um, on the left here, you'll see all your. Um, color options. We'll go ahead and just uncheck some of these because we won't be using them. Um, but yeah, you got your white balance, your color, light, HSL, which stands for like hue, saturation, and lightness. Um, we'll start from the top here. Um, it's pretty bright, and I actually don't mind the um, washed out background here from the window because it kind of gives it more of like an angelic look. Um, but we'll go ahead and bump the contrast, uh, a little bit of the vibrance, some saturation, some color into it. Um, highlights I think are fine. You bring in some more shadows. Um, whites are okay. 
Uh, maybe darken it a little bit, deepen those blacks. Um, get rid of some of the blue in the shot. Just desaturate that. Um, maybe the yellows, greens. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll bump up the temperature a little bit. Even up here in the corner, you can see like a uh, show original. But uh, yeah, there you have it. We have our other shot here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Alright, looks pretty good. Yeah, so we have some pretty nice wedding intro footage and then we have uh, some nice colored b-roll. Um, but yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. What do you guys think of Amore 11? Any new features you want to see in the future? Uh, yeah, hope to see you guys in the next one.